it's time for class. It is indeed. Bonjour, my class. Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay, class. Regardez. Hmm, class. Samedi. Oh no, pas samedi. Dimanche. No. Hey, class. Dimanche été l'anniversaire. Bon anniversaire à toi. Bon anniversaire à toi. Dimanche été l'anniversaire du papa. P A P A du père. L'anniversaire du papa ou du père de Monsieur Rigolo. Hey class, oh, comment s'appelle ton papa? Jake, Jackson, Bill, Chris. Comment s'appelle ton papa? Jerry. Ooh, Jerry. Hey, class. <laughs> On va chanter. What I say? <laughs> class. On va chanter pour Jerry. Okay. Vite, class. Hey, class. Lentement. Ooh, vite. Why? Vite. Okay. Bon anniversaire. Vite. Okay. Class. One, two, three. Bon anniversaire. Bon anniversaire. Bon anniversaire, Jerry. Bon anniversaire à toi! Hey, uh, Mr. Rigolo, quel âge a ton papa? Oh, class! Mr. Rigolo! Devoir en anglais. Okay, Monsieur Rigolo. Ton devoir est savoir l'âge de ton père. Okay? What's his homework? Hey, class. On va penser. On va voter. Ok, classe. Quel âge a le papa de Monsieur Rigolo? Ok. Dix huit ans? Oui? Ok. Um, vingt ans? Non. Ok. Trente ans? Quarante ans. Oui. Personne. Oh. Ah, cinquante ans. Oh. Okay. <gasps> wow, class. Monsieur Rigolo. Il. Oh, 
français. Et il s'est rappelé. So that means remember. So show me that. Il s'est rappelé. Il a pensé. Il a regardé. Il a mangé. Il a pensé. Class. Il a. Monsieur Vigolo. Il a pensé. Et. Il s'est rappelé. Ok, Monsieur Rigolo. Quel âge a ton papa? 50? Hey, class! 50 ans. Ok, class. On va. Applaudir le papa de Monsieur Rigolo. Hey class, comment s'appelle son papa? Comment s'appelle son papa? Jerry. On va applaudir Jerry 50 fois. Très vite, ok? Hey class, je vais dire. What does that mean? Ok. Je vais dire 10, 20, 30, 50, or 40, 50, ok? Ok. 50 fois. Am I going to count every number? No. no. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Ok? Ok, classe. 50 fois. Super vite. 1, 2, 3. 
Ponce. Deer. <gasps> Class. Oh, D to C. What's D to C? <laughs> hey, class, levez la main si vous détestez lundi. Oh, bon Dieu. Je déteste lundi. Oh, tu détestes lundi. Oh, tu oh, détestes oh, lundi. Et tu détestes lundi. Oh, class. Oh, Scarlett, tu détestes lundi. Un peu ou beaucoup? Oh, wow, class, Scarlett, a parlé en français. A parlé en français. Hey class, Monsieur Rigolo, a un devoir, oui ou non? Class, Monsieur Rigolo, a un devoir spécial, oui ou non? Non. Non. Non, classe. Non. Il s'est rappelé. Il a un devoir, oui ou non? Non. Il a un devoir? Oh, did you turn in your paper? Hey, class. Ella. Monsieur Rigolo a rendu le devoir? What did I ask her? <laughs> Monsieur Rigolo a rendu le devoir, oui ou non? No. Tu as rendu le devoir à Ella? Oui. Il dit que oui. Ok, classe. Pensez. Monsieur Rigolo, il a rendu, oh, that means turned in, okay, so show me that, rendu, pensez, c'est rappelé, pensez, rendu, what's rendu, turned in, turned in. gave back, hey class, Monsieur Rigolo, il a rendu le devoir, oui ou non? Okay. Monsieur Rigolo a un devoir spécial, oui ou non? Oui. Non, non, class, il, il s'est rappelé. N'est-ce pas? Oui. Il a un devoir, oui ou non? Non. non. Yahoo! Class, Monsieur Rigolo n'a pas de devoir. Hey class, levez la main si vous avez un devoir. Ursula, way. Tu as rendu le devoir, oui ou non? Oh. Tu as un devoir, oui ou non? Do you have one tonight? Oh, no, I already turned it Super! Class, I'm ready to say that! Ok, class, regardez. Regardez la date. Oh, class. C'est jeudi ou lundi? Lundi. Oh, class, lundi. Ok, tu es content. Tu es content ou triste? Oh, wow, il est content. Et tu es content ou triste? Il est content. Il est content. Je suis triste. Ok, class. Lundi, lundi, lundi. Oh, class. Vendredi. Adieu, vendredi. Au revoir. Adios. Adieu. Ok, class. Lundi. Hey, class. Regardez la date. Cette date 
spell daft with me in the air, okay? De, a, te, u. Class. Set, daft, a, normal, ou bizarre? Bizarre. Why? Le, le 381 <laughs> septembre. Hey class. Ça, c'est normal? Oui. Oui ou non? Oui. oui. Hey class, ça va, oui ou non? Oui. Est-ce que, est que vous voulez, oh, vous ladies want, ok, so show me voulez, voulez, pensez, regardez. Se rappeler. What's that? Remember. remember. Super. Hey, you remember. <laughs> I remember. Voulez. What's that mean? Want. Hey, class. Est-ce que vous voulez que je change la date ou pas? No. No. Pas. Oh, pas. Okay. Oh. Oh. Class. Ça va? Oui. No. Oui. Oui ou non? No. Oui. Oui. No. Oui. Est-ce que vous... Ok. Levez la main si vous voulez que je change la date. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ok? Class. Levez la main si vous voulez que je ne change pas la date. 1, 2, 3. Oh, class. Je vais changer la date. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, class. C'est le 8? Non. C'est le 1er? Non. C'est le 81? Oui. Oui. C'est le 31? Oui. Oui. Non. oui. non. C'est le 13? Oui. 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 Non, class, c'est le 18, n'est-ce pas? Non. Oui. Non. C'est le 18 ou le 19? <laughs> Class. Aujourd'hui, il est 18. Et demain, il est 19. Turn it to the right That demain, it's 19. Tomorrow, it's 19. Tomorrow, people. I'm so excited about the day. People are excited for not Monday. And I don't, yeah. I'm also excited for tomorrow. It's behind the three. <laughs> No. I love Because actually my work. Beat up Cassius. I put the Cassius the wrong Charlotte, Charlotte. Beat, beat, beat. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Maxi. Okay, class. Lundy, Lundy's wheat. Et class, demain. Et le 19. Et class. Il fait froid ou frais? Froid. Froid? Frais. 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 Okay, frais, class. Okay, froid. Okay, class, il fait frais. Ça, c'est normal. C'est normal, c'est Oregon. Il fait frais. Ça, c'est normal à Portland. N'est-ce pas? Oui. Et classe, il fait du soleil? Non. Ou gris? Gris. gris. Ok, il fait gris. Et classe? Il fait frais, il fait gris. Il neige? Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. Il neige? Oui. 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 Hey class, regardez! Il ne neige pas. Oh. Hey class, shut down. Il pleut. Oh. Class, il ne neige pas. Il pleut. Class, regardez. Il pleut, oui ou non? Oui. oui. 
Hmm, class. It was. Regardez. Il pleut ou il ne pleut pas? Il ne pleut pas. Parce qu'il a plu, n'est-ce pas? Oui, oui. Il pleut maintenant? Oui ou non? Oui. Ok, il ne pleut pas. Il ne neige pas. Il ne pleut pas. Il fait gris. Anybody want to read this for us and we'll read along with you? Oh, Sophie left home. Class A, pretty say Sophie. attention to this because we need a very important job. This job is going to be so important to our class this year and it's a primary person and then they're, they're like secondary person that helps them. So if you look back there at that sandwich that we made or as we would say in French, le sandwich. It's a pretty cool looking sandwich and the artist in my other French class excuse me, made that. And so these artists are going to be responsible, Katie, for making all these visual aids for our class and making all our characters and making all our stories. By the end of the year, we're going to have like our little, that's their section, right? So our section will probably be right over there by that cookie of life. <laughs> Dude, my daughter, when she was in seventh grade, I um, taught seventh grade when she was in seventh grade. I've always taught seventh grade. I love seventh grade. It's my favorite grade. When she was in seventh grade, she came to my classroom, it was out in Gresham, and she goes, that is the freakiest picture I have ever seen in my life. Like, you bite into that cookie, what's going to happen? Oh, I know those people are going to go like, ah, they're going to start screaming. And then you're like, anyway, I, I don't know. It's like more like the cookie of death, she said. <laughs> Execution. So, I, I used to teach social studies, and I had a whole bunch more, like, posters up, but the only ones I have now are friends, our chocolate chips, and the cookie of life, and... The one thing you can't recycle is wasted time. You notice it's above the clock and the recycling bin. Oh. I'm just saying. Well, I planned it you that way. can recycle it Savage. by making it up in your head with a story because that's not an actual that's thing. That's true, that's true. But you'll never get that time back here. Uh, Believe me. You could learn how to reverse time. I know that well. Okay, so Katie. We need, yes, honey? Um, could you call the artist that puts your Sure, yeah, yeah. Class, applaud Katie. She is doing really well. Very creative. All right, so the cartoonist one and the cartoonist two. So first we have to pick cartoonist one. So I want you to think carefully because this person needs to be able to go quickly and make really good art. They don't get to use a pencil or like sketch it out all fancy. They just have to use black marker and like draw it really quick and then somebody else is going to help them color it in. So this person might not be the most beautiful like fine artist in the world who's going to take a million years to like make it look perfect. This person needs to be a good artist who is exactly Katie, more like a cartoonist. So they can just draw a cartoon because you know what, when you're a cartoonist, you have to turn out a cartoon every day. They're in the newspaper 
for, you know, there used to be this thing, kids, it was called the newspaper. It was on the piece of paper, and the news was on it. Wow. And it used to come out every day. Yeah, and so every day you would get the newspaper, a paper with news on it, and in the paper there would be this part called the comics, and that comic book artist or comic cartoonist would have to draw it every single day. This person, this cartoonist, I love that, Katie, you're so smart. This cartoonist needs to draw something almost every day, and they need to make it big and bold and quick. So point to somebody that you think will be good at that. All right, stand up. All right, class. Kelsey. Yeah. And Katie, you should come put her name over here. And then Kelsey, you have to pick cartoonist two, who's going to help you do the shading in with color pencils. Isla. All right, Isla, class. I'm going to say Isla. All right, so Katie, I need you to train them on what they need to do. Okay, so. Yeah, so Kelsey and Isla, so they're cartoonists one and two. Nicely done. I can't wait to see what you guys do. So, that's A-I-L-A, right? Well, Kelsey, watch carefully. Isla, watch carefully, because raise your hand if you would like to try your hand at being the artist later. Okay, so look around, girls. There's tons of people who want your job, all right? So, Keep it because you want to do it right, okay? I don't want to have to fire you. So you're going to work back here, and that means that what you're, and Katie, I want you to pay close attention, okay, because you've got to make sure that they do this job right, because did you see, raise your hand if you would like to be an artist later. Okay, there's so many people who want this job. We might even have to switch this job like halfway through the year. But as long as they do a really good job, then hey, why don't we get to keep it? So anyway, so Isla and Kelsey are going to be back here. They cannot be talking loud enough for us to hear them. If they have to communicate, they're going to whisper. And they cannot turn this around until they're done, because it's supposed to be like a surprise. And they have to get their materials over there where it says Band-Aids. Isla, stand up and go over there and get your materials where it says Band-Aids. You see that big Band-Aid? Yep. There are Band-Aids in there, but there's also a box of art materials. Mm -hmm. So grab that out. And Kelsey, I want you to pay close attention, okay? As the primary cartoonist, you are going to mostly use the markers that are in there. Isla, show her one of the markers. Mm -hmm. um, Isla is going to mostly be using the color pencils and the pencil sharpener. Your job is to keep those materials really well organized and always put them back over there, Katie. they got to put them back. I don't want other kids messing with those. Also, um, Kelsey, if you mess up, these easel pad papers, you wouldn't believe. They actually cost about 75 cents each. So if you mess up, you can't get another piece of paper. You only get one piece of paper per day. So Isla, will you show her that there's scissors and tape and white paper in there? That is kind of like your rough draft. Mm, no, because you don't have time for a rough draft. It's more like your whiteout. So if you make a mistake, you're just going to put a piece of paper on this big paper and color over it. Okay, And that is what the tape is for. Because that paper costs like, you can get like three of those pages for one penny. This paper is 75 cents a sheet. I don't know why. It's really not that much bigger. I mean like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's probably about the size of eight pieces of that little paper, but they charge you a bunch of it. I don't know why. They charge a bunch for this paper. All right. So, one final thing. So, to review. Materials have to be neatly put away over there. You cannot use another piece of paper. You have to correct your mistakes with that white paper. You have to keep this area clean. Not get on my nerves. You have to clean up after you. You're fired. You hear that, Katie? Okay. You cannot talk loud, but rather quietly. And see these black stools? See how they fold up? You're going to fold them up and put them right back here so they're not in the way when you're done. Got it? All right, do you accept your mission? Do you accept your mission? Class, applaudissimo! All right, nicely done, nicely done. All right, um, Isla, we will probably start this tomorrow because we don't have a lot of time today. We're just going to take a quick quiz here at the end. All right, class. I need to prepare one. That's all right, dear. I will make it up myself. I am a professional.
kind of like LeBron James. What? LeBron James <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of like the Miz Hargan in a basketball player. Uh, uh, and I'm kind of like the LeBron James of two. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's just... I don't think it's his level of skill at his talent is about the same as my level of skill. I mean, you know, you gotta believe in yourself because maybe nobody else has That's my thing. But the weird thing is, is like the more you actually believe in yourself, the more other people start believing in you too. Do you ever notice that? No. No. You can help to show confidence, make other people believe in them. Yes, sir. Um, do pencil people have to give out pencils? No, we're not taking that kind of quiz. We're just taking a quiz. Okay.